Hey guys! Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kaylee, and for today's video, we're doing an episode of Cooking with Kaylee that has never been a series, ever. So yes, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, you're welcome. I'm here. If you're gonna take anything from this video, please take away the, the, the camera placement with the Christmas decor. Holy God. Am I right? Like, look, I'll stand out of your way for a second. Just take a look. Isn't that beautiful? For today's video, I thought, you know, I don't really... I haven't really been in the Christmas spirit this year. It's been a hard year for everyone, and it's really hard to get into that mindset. So today we are making a homemade gingerbread house from scratch. Okay. I have never done something like this before. So this is going to be a, a first for all of us. So, <laughs> yep. Yup, yup, yup. Without further ado, I guess let's go ahead and get started. So the recipe I'm looking at is by a woman named Sally's Baking Addiction. Somebody, somebody, Somebody come get this girl because she's addicted to baking. Bruh. <laughs> I've been working on like what I could say for Sally's baking, but I, nothing came. Anyways, let's go ahead and make our cookie dough because we're making gingerbread cookie, gingerbread house made out of gingerbread cookies. I don't know what the fuck's happening. So, so right here we have three cups of flour. Um, oops. <laughs> it's... It straight up just absolutely hit that. Okay, three cups of flour. So to this mixture, we need a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Something is just so cathartic about baking, you know? It's just good, it's just good times, good times all around. Two teaspoons of ginger, cause it's gingerbread. Cause it's gingerbread. Half a teaspoon of allspice. Anyone know what is in allspice? all the spices, <laughs> and then salt. We're just gonna whisk that up. Then we're gonna set that aside. This goes to the side. Okay. Carry. Okay. okay. In a large bowl, using a handheld mixer stand mixer, beat the butter and brown sugar together on medium speed. We have a stand mixer, but there's no way I'm getting it out. Absolutely no way, absolutely no how. We'll not be fucking with that. Instead, we have a hand mixer. When I was making the icing earlier, yes, that's right, I prepared. I prepared. I was using a hand mixer and it took 10 times longer to make that goddamn icing, but hey, we don't have anything but time. We have nothing but time. Yeah. So in this severely large mixing bowl, I'm gonna put six tablespoons of butter softened. So then we have brown sugar. This is light brown sugar. Oh, fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. I did not go to the grocery store. Um, so I'm gonna be using <laughs> fucking so many substitutes. I totally forgot this egg is supposed to be room temperature. So I think I'm just gonna put it in my bosom. Can this stay underneath my titty? Oh my god. Y'all, there's an egg underneath my boobie. And it's not going anywhere. Yeah. As it turns out, the butter might not have been completely room tempt. So I'm gonna have to like work with this a little bit and I'll be back. So this is the best that I can do right now. Next. <laughs> Beat in the egg, molasses, and water. So I don't have any molasses, but I read online if you combine honey <laughs> and brown sugar, uh, that could be equal to molasses. So we're gonna do that really quick. So we have our molasses. So now we're gonna put in half a cup of the molasses. I feel like this is just like a ton of brown sugar. Oh God. Cause it already calls for like a fuck ton of brown sugar. And then two tablespoons of water. And then our precious and beloved egg. <laughs> okay. It's okay, baby, come on. She's still not really room temperature yet. She's getting a little sweaty, I won't lie. It's okay, do your thing. So, oops, that was really loud and annoying. Now we beat this bitch until smooth. Okay, 
then make it in the same. Now we have to slowly beat in the dry ingredients. So I started noticing as I put more of the dry ingredients in, it got really, really crumbly and dry and it was getting everywhere and it was such a fucking mess. Okay, so that took me a very long time. It got, the dough got really crumbly and dry. So I think I added too much water and then it got kind of wet. So I added more flour and here we are, we have our dough. So now we're supposed to divide the cookie dough in half and flatten into disc wrap in plastic wrap and then chill in the fridge for two hours. I don't think this is supposed to be like sticky. Glab glue. It's like sticky. Okay, I think it's not supposed to be this sticky. So I'm gonna put a little bit more flour in there. <laughs> okay. This is not good. Glab glue. Okay, so let's just say the hand mixer had gotten got into a little sticky situation, but Honestly, this is the dough. I think it might be too floury now. God damn bitch. Okay, it's fine. So it said the dough is gonna be thick, so I this is this is thick all right. So now we're gonna divide it, saran wrap it, and then it will we'll wait two hours. Wrap that baby up. Number one. These suckers are gonna go in the fridge for two hours, and then we'll be back to decorate the gingerbread house okay now kiss well hello so it has been a few hours later and i have all of my things right here from the refrigerator i don't know what i from the refrigerator from the refrigerator earlier today i made Royal icing. This is the buttercream that's gonna hold the house together. That's exciting. And this is something called royal icing. Um, the pioneer woman said it was yummy. I know that's your favorite, Daddy. And now Miss Sally's baking addiction says that we need to put two pieces of parchment paper together and roll these bitches out so we can make our templates for the house. Okay, yum. That's one, and we're gonna roll it out. I don't bet. <laughs> yep, so my. <laughs> my mic was muted that whole time. So we're just gonna roll this out. God, it's very thick. Oh shit, I gotta preheat the oven. Here we have one of them. One of the, one of the, one of the, one of the, what am I saying? And thanks to Sally's baking addiction, <laughs> this lovely lady has provided us templates. I'm going to cut these out and then we're gonna like, you know, use them to shape. Sally's baking addiction. Sally's addicted to baking. Put some flour on these cutouts so they don't stick. We're gonna see how this works. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> that's one. Mm, won't lie, they are a little off center. Okay. I honestly hope I cut them thick enough because I want no skimpy ass. I don't know. You wanna say hi? Hi everyone, we love you. Have a great holiday. <gasps> oh, how cute, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I on the cake? No, you're fine. This is just like takes precision. Look, like having the, I'm gonna fucking chop my finger off. I'm not careful. There we go, nice. We did it, Joe. Okay, got the little pieces done. They're a little fucked up, I won't lie. <laughs> So the last things I need are these two. Oh God. Oh God, it's really sticking to it. Perfect. Yay. All right, so the big pieces are going in the oven. They look pretty good. Very uneven. Very, very unmatchy, matchy even. So we're gonna stick these in the oven and I'll be back soon. friends the time has come we are going to be decorating our gingerbread house okay 
So here's the issue. I forgot to go to the store. <laughs> I like totally spaced on going to the store. I forgot I had to like actually decorate it. So this is what we have to decorate. Cereal and leftover Halloween candy. <laughs> okay. Oh, not just that. We also have pistachios and trail mix. So that's fun. Um, so we're just gonna do that. So right here, I have my piping bags of my icing. Where are the scissors? Oh my God, where the fuck? Where'd the scissors go? Where did the scissors go? Bro, are you kidding me? I just fucking had them. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it. Where's the scissors? I'm gonna lose my mind. They were hidden. Okay, so here we have my piping bag. Do a little slit. Oh, it's coming out. So here we have one of the, these are not flat. They're not. Wait, let's see. What would happen if we were to cut them? Okay, that works. Let's try them. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, I'm gonna need to cut all these. They look like little biscottis. So I'm gonna take the edge off. So I'm gonna get my bag, and I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Oh, bitch, there she is. I'm gonna have to do the same thing. I'm gonna have to chop off part of it. Yummy. Corbett, Corbett. Look at this homemade piping bag. What y'all know about the homemade? Okay. Corbett, Corbett. Okay. <laughs> so this is where the part gets a little tricky. I'm gonna have to pipe along the edges because if it doesn't stay, I might off myself just a little. Okay, everyone shut up. This is the... Corbett, hop in the motherfucking gym. What you know about homemade gingerbread house? Okay, also the recipe calls for this other icing. It's called royal icing and I made it and I don't know why I even have it. Okay. Honestly, this is going better than like the pre-made gingerbread houses that I, that I buy. I mean, this has been an all day affair. Don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> okay, well, we only have one problem and it's that these are not connected. Ugh, I mean, I guess I could do this. Can I put this on top? Oh yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I'll put like one of the pieces on top. Wow, that's some good shit. <laughs> my mom is watching me and she didn't laugh at my joke. Well, let's just hope it doesn't rain. It really does not look bad. Now we have to assemble the chimney. Oh my God, this is so hard. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this chimney's gonna happen. This chimney's not working. Okay. I got hungry and the chimney wasn't gonna work anyway, okay? Okay, there's like literally no way this chimney's gonna work. I'm having difficulties. How does she put that together? My icing is not that thick. I have to just say fuck it to the chimney. Okay, yeah, this chimney's not working. Oh, oops. So now I guess this is what I used to line. This is what I used to line the, the house. Oh my God, wait, I can use this as snow. Oh my God, snow, you guys. I'm gonna get some M&Ms from my Chex Mix and put that on. So maybe I'll actually use peanuts to line the house. And raisins, who doesn't love raisins, am I right? Who doesn't love raisins <laughs> on a gingerbread? Oh, this is a big boy. Look at this big boy raisin. I got a bad boy piece of information. <laughs> I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information. A little, a little door. Little door. Wow, look at the door. Can y'all see the door? That's beautiful. I'm gonna take a Snickers bar. I'm gonna chop it up and sprinkle it. Oh my God, I just realized we could use these for the, the bricks. Bad boy. Like I said, a bad boy piece of information. Bad boy piece of information. Like they're bricks. You get it? I mean, they're not really working. <laughs> They're very much sliding off. The bricks are not staying. Oh, okay. Window. Okay. <laughs> She's making some noises. <laughs> she said, 
I'm gassy. You know what? This is just gonna be uh, an art installation called Smorgage Borg. You know, we'll be fine taking some pistachios out of the wrapper. Mother had a suggestion. <sighs> the chimney doesn't go there. <laughs> no, Kaylee. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> it can't sit that big time. <laughs> I gotta take a thumbnail. Uh, Honestly, she don't look bad. <laughs> so guys, I think I'm actually done. I don't, I don't wanna, this is just, it's just too much, you know? <laughs> Corvette, Corvette. I'm done, thank you for watching. This has been an all day affair and I am exhausted. So I'm just gonna go away. Grunts, the noises. Wait, hold on. I'm I'm out of here, folks. <laughs> Wait, hey. Stop laughing, okay? Ready? I'm out. Of here. It's like I can't. When I do it, I can't help but to like groan and like I'm like you know like ha having a having a hard time. <laughs> Don't forget this 